Ah, KY, do come in. Just wanted to uh, have a little chat with you about the uh, new manuscript. Now I have to say, initially I was very, very excited by your proposal. A boy wizard and his friends goes to boarding school for wizards and witches. Brilliant, brilliant, quite, quite brilliant. So many opportunities to create creatures of the imagination. Opportunities to create characters that we come to know and love. Perhaps paving the way for a series of books, maybe even movies. <laughs> Exciting stuff, eh? But I wasn't quite expecting this. And uh, just wondering if we could have a chat about making one or two insy teensy little changes. <laughs> now, um, when a sperm high on me first meets Harry Rotter, are those names really necessary, by the way? Yes, quite. Hmm. Now, uh, it says here, Sperm high on me stroked the shaft of Harry's long hard wand and made something magic happen. Uh, not quite getting this one, KY. Uh, this actually happens in chapter two, but uh, according to the manuscript, Harry doesn't get his wand until uh, chapter five? Yes, quite. Hmm. And uh, just thought we could have a look at one or two of the other characters' names. Um, Farty Crouch, I Must Hump a Whore, Evil Bang Bottom, and uh, Syphilis Crack. This one here, the uh, evil he who shall not be named. Except you did name him, didn't you? When perhaps it would have been better if you had not. Gold Anal Wart. Yes, quite. Hmm. And uh, finally, the uh, title. The title, the title, the title. Harry Rotter and the uh, Gobbler for Hire. Now, yes, yes, I can fully appreciate the need for Harry to have a happy ending. But this wasn't quite the happy ending I was expecting. Nor will it be the one our readers will I expect. Especially as it happens in the uh, first page of the uh, first paragraph. Yes, quite. Hmm. Granddad, can I ask you something? Of course you can, sweet pea. Where do babies come from? <laughs> well, my little angel, babies are brought down from heaven by the fairy angels in a beautiful chocolate box all covered in pink ribbons. Then the beautiful fairy angels put the beautiful chocolate box in with the baby in a safe place that only mummies and daddies know about. That must be Mummy's pussy, because that's where she said they came from. No. Oh. I, th I think I'll write that down. That, that might come in useful later. Doesn't... <laughs> your two o'clock is here. Sure. Mr. Douglas will see you for your interview now. Ah, Yemen. Please, take a fight. Hi. You found your way here all right then? Well, to be honest with you, no, it was a bit of a fucking nightmare. Like, right, you know, because I don't know the fucking area. So, of course, got the bus out in Takapun and ended up in fucking Jitter, hangy. So I'm wandering around, like, for fucking ages before I realized I don't have a fucking clue where I am. So, of course, I asked them for directions and they steered me in the wrong fucking direction completely. So that by the time I'd worked out how to get back to the city and had a pint of calming nerves, I'm in the worst fucking state in the All Blacks, lying out the dirty bollockses. <laughs> so I'm over explaining. <laughs> right. Look, uh, well, look, the important thing is you're here now. So, it's Yamon Flaherty O'Shag Nessie. Yamon Flaherty O'Shaughnessy. My ma was no O'Shaughnessy and my dad was no Flaherty. And of course, when they got married, my ma was already up the rough with me. So she's gone completely mental and decides she wants to stay in O'Shaughnessy. So my dad says, right, fuck it, like, right, whatever you want, you know. But what are you going to do with the two O's? Because of Flaherty O'Shaughnessy just sounds plain fucking stupid, like, you know. So he flips a coin, of course, my ma fucking wins. So he's a fucking head off her. And he says, right, if you get the O's, I get the name. She says, what? Gee, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, amen. And he says, right, that'll do. And she says, what? Joseph. He says, no, Yamon. So he called me Yamon, the dirty bollocks. Should I'm over explaining. And I see you're from Ireland. Now, 
How long have you been in New Zealand? Oh, just a couple of months, because my man kicked me out of the house, because someone called, shot the Celtic fucking tiger, and there's no more fucking jobs in Ireland. So my mate Mickey says to me, why don't you go to New Zealand? Because you get two euros for the dollar. Hey, and of course the weather's much fucking better over there. So I says, right, fuck it, right, right. You know, so I hit my dad's up for a few euros. And so, of course, I'm delighted when I get here, because I get twice as much back as what he gave me. So I send the extra back to him, because he goes completely fucking mental, because he can't fucking spend it anywhere. And by the time he works out, he has to change it in the bank. He goes completely fucking spare, because he only got half back what he gave me. So I've got to send the fucking extra back to him, so I'm fucking completely completely broke. To make matters worse, it's still fucking raining since I got here, and I haven't got a fucking clue what Mickey was going on about. The dirty bollocks. <laughs> Should I'm over explaining? Well, Mark, it looks as though we've been very fortunate with the conditions here this evening. They're absolutely perfect. Absolutely right, Ted. What a great atmosphere. I can really see this thing taking off this evening. I couldn't agree with you more, Mark. There's a lot to play for here this evening. Absolutely right, Ted. And it doesn't take too much guessing to know the prize they'll be fighting for tonight. I couldn't agree with you more, Mark. She has some wonderful form and will certainly be getting some attention tonight. Absolutely right, Ted. A few more wines inside, I could make for an easy win. I couldn't agree with you more, Mark. Oh, and we're off already. And straight away we can see there's some jostling for possession. Absolutely right, Ted. It's already getting quite physical out there. I couldn't agree with you more, Mark. And it looks as though some of them have already peaked, even this early in the game. Absolutely right, Ted. But wait, look. Looks like someone held something in the reserve. And yes, yes, here we go. I couldn't agree with you more, Mark. Here he comes out of the crowd, up to the bar, the bottle of champagne, two glasses, a beautiful swerve to avoid the blocking manoeuvre, and a beautiful slide into the seat beside her. A fantastic piece of skill. Absolutely right, Dave. Wonderful manoeuvre, pure magic. He's got himself into a fantastic position. Now the question is, can he score? I couldn't agree with you more, Mark. We've seen this before quite a few times. Great approach work, but comes up short when the pressure comes on. Absolutely right, Ted. But he's clearly a lad with a bit of talent. Surely it's just a matter of time, Dave, before he breaks his duck. I couldn't agree with you more, Mark. Oh, and here we go. It looks like he's going for it already. Absolutely right, Ted. This could be a mistake. And oh, yes, he's missed an absolute sitter. He's crumbled again in the face of pressure. I couldn't agree. I agree with you more, Mark. What an atrocious miss. A classic mistake. He got himself into a fantastic position and absolutely butchered it. All he needed was that extra touch. Absolutely right, Ted. I know it's easy from up here, but really, he should have scored there. The defense was oriented. All he really needed to do was get a glass of champagne and it was game over. Absolute shocker. I couldn't agree with you more, Mark. He'll be very disappointed with that. Oh, and what's this? Oh my goodness. Well, it really has gone from bad to worse now. Yes, there's been some dissent. And yes, he's been given his marching order. Absolutely right, Ted. That really is very silly. A player of his experience should know better than that. Any chance he had now is completely gone. I couldn't agree with you more, Mark. Well, that brings the end our action here this evening. All in all, a bit of a disappointing game brought to a premise in by some absolutely disgraceful decision making. Absolutely right, Ted. A very, very, very inept display riddled with schoolboy errors. He will have to certainly perform much better than that if he's going to get the shape tonight. Fuck's sake, you two shut it. Nice that one, too. Look at the fruit on that. Fruit <laughs> <Nice. laughs> <laughs>